Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike the Tech, and welcome to our very first unboxing on the Oslo Tech and Mike the Tech channel. Uh, today we have kind of a surprise unboxing for you. We have a HP ProLiant Generation 8 micro server and the accompanying switch. So this was actually a surprise that I wasn't expecting. Um, it was sent to us, or given to us actually, from our good friends over at uh, Delighted Robots. I'll put their information in the description box below. And uh, definitely check them out. I wanted to give away totally off chance kind of thing. And uh, now we get to do a review. So for this video, it's just gonna be an unboxing of the micro server itself. We will do another unboxing of the switch that comes with it. And hopefully in the future, do an in-depth review and look into what this guy can actually do. All right, so the first thing I noticed about this server is there's quite a few boxes that it came in. Uh, the first is obviously the server itself. Um, that's the chassis and everything that comes with it. And then we have this separate uh, Windows Server 2012 Essentials. And, you know, obviously whatever version you buy of the server, you know, you're going to know your needs best. So you might not get Essentials. Uh, you might get, you know, a different version of it. But uh, this one came with Essentials, which I'm happy with. And it also, oddly enough, came with a separate box for the SATA DVD RW drive. And I'm not sure why it wasn't, uh, you know, already installed in the server itself. Um, the guys over at Delighted Robots said that their review model actually came with it already installed. So I think we're going to open this guy up first and uh, see if it's, you know, what the deal with that is. All right, so the moment of truth. We're going to open up this uh, SATA DVD drive. Uh, this is a rewritable drive, as to be expected, most are. Um, let's get into it. The first ever box cutter usage on the channel. So the first thing we see is lots of cables, static cables, power cables, all that good stuff. Uh, documentation, one single screw, most likely to, to get that all mounted in. And we have some nice packaging here. And that's about it, nothing in there. So we get rid of this packaging. Nice and small, this is a 9.5 millimeter drive, something like you'd see in a, in a laptop because this is a very small form factor server. And yep, standard uh, DVD multi-recorder, just like you'd find in a laptop. So we'll set this aside and move on to the good stuff. All right, guys, now we're on to the good stuff. This is the HP Microserver Generation 8 G2020T base model. It has 16 gigabytes of unbuffered DDR3 memory and a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, it is expandable up to 12 terabytes. So um, I'll explain a little bit more as we go along. So it's 16 gigs of memory. I believe the base model comes with two gigs, but this model just happened to come with 16. So let's open it up. All right, I'm gonna turn this on its side. First we have another copy of Windows Server Essentials apparently. I'm not sure why, but that's in there. A power cord. And all the standard documentation. We have the a CD for documentation, that's nice. And a setup poster. Let's set all this aside. All right. Now we have let's see, an envelope. little thumb drive, EM Tech, so that's cool, wasn't expecting that. Set this down here, and start pulling out a little bit of the server. Alright, so let's get rid of all this packing material without breaking the server, hopefully. So this is it. This is a very small form factor. Um, let's get 
this one wrapped so you get a better look at it. Standard body tag. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it looks like the CD drive isn't installed. I'll have to open it up to see for sure. I'm not sure how this opens here. Here we go. Here are the four non hot swappable um, hard drive caddies and a little tool to open them up. It's important to note that they are not hot swappable and neither is a power supply. We have two USB ports up front, a uh, power button up here, obviously the opening cage here. It's very strong magnets in there. It's good build quality. What else do we have in here? That's about it. Not too much aside from the from the hard drive caddies. Move over to the back without rattling up inside too much. Again, we have the service tag. We have the um, power supply port, uh, two more USB slots here, uh, two more USB 3.0 slots, so it's two of those, one VGA port, two gigabit um, Ethernet ports, and an ILO port. It has one PCI Express 16X slot, which is a low profile slot, so don't expect to put in any um, high end graphics cards or anything in here, it is a low profile slot. Um, the power supply is not as well as well as I mentioned. I believe it is 150 watt power supply, so it's going to be good on energy. And obviously, with the form factor, it's going to fit nicely in any, um, you know, office setting or small room where you can't have a full uh, two-unit server or one-unit server. All right, so let's take a peek inside and see um, exactly what we're working with here. Uh, we're going to we have two access screws in the back, as you find in most uh, Rackdown servers is nice not to have to pull out a screwdriver for it. Just pulls out, lifts right up. We'll put this over here. All right, so on this side, we have our two ECC protected uh, unbuffered eight gig memory sticks. And that's about it. We have all our securing hardware there. And on the top, we have more securing hardware for the back panel removal and removal of various components, such as the non-hot swappable hard drive bays. We have a nice, looks like a 120 millimeter fan back here for cooling, which shouldn't be too loud. You're going to hear it, but it's not going to be too loud like you would have with, with rack mount servers. Um, we have our, looks like our CD-ROM caddy right here. We put it there. I'm not sure why it wasn't installed if it was this small. It seems like it'd be a pretty easy install, but it's here, so we can do that. And on this side, interestingly enough, we have a micro SD slot. It's a push and push out SD slot right there, so you can put a micro SD card in there, a flash card. Another USB port inside, a SATA port for your hard drive, and here's the PCI X 16X slot, as well as what else do we have in here? Not too much. We have our processor, which in this one is a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Pentium dual core processor. Uh, I know that high end model has a 2.5 gigahertz and the lower end model, the base model has a Celeron processor. So you'll want to budget accordingly and find out what kind of processor you plan to get because there are um, various versions of this hardware. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get into, pretty easy to upgrade. There's not too many upgrades you'll be able to do with this, aside from the hard drives, uh, just because of its small form factor. It's, an, it's a very small form factor. And um, with the hard drives, you can have up to 12 terabytes of data on here. This one only has 500 gigs so far, but it does support up to 12 terabytes. The memory supports up to 16 gigs, which this is maxed out, so that there won't be any upgrade in there either. So yeah, let me just put this back together. Fairly easy to put together. All right, so this has been our very first unboxing. Again, thanks to Delighted Robot for um, running their giveaway and letting us win it. Um, uh, again, I'll put their information down below so you can go check them out. They have a ton of content. Um, 
some really great articles on there I share them from time to time. So, so yeah, be sure to give them a read. Um, and that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and share it out if you liked it. All right. Peace.